Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back. Right now I have a really exciting clan war to show you. This war came down to just one star. There was fighting until the last minute, so let's check it out. In the war log here, you'll notice we've won everything, but this last war was not easy. Props to Nakama CK, they are a great clan. Now this war really came down to who could 3 star the most bases. We were able to get 2, they were only able to get 1, it was against number 10 right here in my clan, and we will watch that in a minute. But first, let's check out the 3 stars we were able to get. First against number 29 right here. Now the weaknesses in this base are obvious. He has single infernos and his expos are down. I'm going to say that was a mistake. When you use the base editor, it automatically puts your infernos on single and it makes your expos down. Uh, I think that's a mistake. I, I think that's a bad thing. I wish it didn't do that, but it does. So you got to remember that, guys. You got to remember to check your infernos. You want them on multi because it's going to protect against this army right here. And this is the army you got to worry about. This army can three star you if it's done perfectly like it's done here. So he's getting in there, killing the clan castle, he's then going to kill the archer queen, which looks like he already did. Now he's going to see how many defenses he can take out. Now before he even drops his lava hounds and balloons, he will have probably taken out at least one air defense. He might even take out two air defenses and the inferno. That is the ideal situation, and if you do that, getting a 3 star is going to be a lot easier. Look at that, he just took out so, so many critical defenses, and now, these troops are just going to have a field day. They're going to run around basically the, you know, 60% of the base that's left and just have no problem taking out everything in their path. As long as they can take out those final two air defenses, it should be a wrap. Now here we go, he does uh, have that final Inferno Frozen. Final Rage Spell goes down and that's going to speed up these balloons through the final air defense and then boom, it's a wrap. He had a few balloons left, he's throwing them at the bottom, that's a good move, help clean up. Also help distract that wizard tower. Wizard towers are pretty pesky with balloons, but he has totally overwhelmed them here. Again, I think this was a mistake. I don't think uh, this guy, uh, bomb, bomb Rain here, meant to have single infernos. I think he would have defended a lot better with multis. So, you know, you live and you learn. Next time, he'll check them. I know I will. <laughs> I don't want this to happen to me. I accidentally did this once. I had uh, single infernos and my expos were down. Somebody two-starred me without heroes. They just spammed a bunch of balloons and they got my town hall so easily. No heroes. So, you know, I learned the hard way. If you use that base edit mode, you've got to check. You've got to check that your infernos are on multi if you want them on multi. And I think you do. So there we go. D, great raid. Great uh, three stars for the clan. Really psyched on that. Glad we could see that. So let's check out another army, a similar army, but deployed quite differently. Also for three stars. Where is it? Right here. Number six in the enemy clan, Xavier, was able to pull off the three. Now he's going to have a similar army. He's got Lava Hounds and Balloons, but he's going to do it a lot differently. And he's not starting with a golem. He's actually not even going to worry about the clan castle and the Archer Queen until the end of the raid. So watch this. He's just spamming everything. Not as much technique in this raid, but it's going to work beautifully. Great spell deployment right there. He's got one right in the middle. Perfectly going to speed up those balloons down through the core there. He's frozen both Infernos and looks like they're going to get taken out really fast. Wow, this uh, this is going perfectly. Look at these balloons just combing through the base. They're sort of in four groups and uh, you know there's a decent amount of balloons in each group taking out everything in their path. He made this look easy. Now this is a strategy I really like, just spamming Lava Hounds and Balloons. It's so much fun. I do it in, I do it pretty much like at least once a day in a, a normal matchmaking raid. I just make three or four Lava Hounds, a bunch of balloons, just spam them. You know, try it guys if you don't already because you can three star most bases with this. So here we go, well executed raid, all he has to do now is take out that final expo and the king of course, and then it's pretty much just clean up. And uh, he's very close here, already at 93%, he's got a bunch of troops left, and most of all his heroes are not hurt at all. The heroes really didn't need to do anything in this raid except clean up at the bottom, which I thought was a great choice. Rather than, you know, throw a golem down there and try to take out the Archer Queen before the raid, you know, like the previous replay we saw, he just threw them in at the end for cleanup. I think this was a very good choice, very well executed raid by Xavier, and I'm glad he got the three stars for the clan. This is the reason we won here, raids like this. 
So after this, we will check out that uh, that defense I showed you on my clanmate that was three star. Now that doesn't happen often. My clanmates don't get three star often, and we really have to heckle anybody who does. The last guy who got three star was actually our, I think our number one guy got three star one time, but it was just a fluke. And uh, yeah, doesn't happen often. Let's check it out. Skip right here, three star. Now this is going to be the same strategy we've been seeing. This is what you got to look out for guys. This cold blooded Lava Luna strategy which is throwing down golems to get in there, take out the enemy archer queen, take out the clan castle, take out an air defense. You're taking out key defenses before the raid even starts and it makes for an excellent chance at a 3 star if it's done correctly. Now here we go, his golems are starting to get in here, they've been pounded, they're uh, pretty hurt already, but that's okay because he's got his king and queen at full health, they're going to get in here and take out that archer queen. I think he's got a lightning spell, yes he does, have a lightning spell for the clan castle troops. The clan castle troops are really what can mess this up. Uh, say the, the enemy has a bunch of archers in their clan castle, it takes so long for your king and queen to kill them all, sometimes it's better to just use the lightning spell. And guys, if this part of the raid doesn't work, you basically fail. You know, if you've ever tried this strategy, you'll know that. And if you haven't tried, tried this strategy, just know that if you don't kill the Archer Queen in the beginning of the raid, you're probably going to lose. You know, the Archer Queen's going to chase your troops around the whole base, shooting the balloons down. It's crazy. So you got to make that first part count. Now here we go, he's taken out so many vital defenses, he's already taken out two air defenses, wow, and one inferno, and the arch queen, and the clan castle. So just like that first raid I showed you, uh, this guy here, Kiwi Dude, has a massive advantage over Skip here. He's really executed perfectly at the beginning of the raid, and that's going to pay off right now for the three stars. That final rage spell was clutch right where he needed it to uh, sort of race through this final wizard tower. Wizard towers are pretty dangerous against balloons. They can take them out so fast because balloons are just so slow. And there it is. He gets through those final defenses. Balloons are going to pound on the uh, non-essential buildings and boom, three stars as long as he doesn't run out of time. Time is always uh, a problem with raids like this, but he's got these lava dudes everywhere, lava pups, so he should be fine. Guys, this was a great war, and as you can see, the king of strategies right now is really this strategy. Some sort of variation of Lava Hounds and Balloons. And if you guys aren't on this train yet, definitely jump on it. Learn this strategy, because, you know, things might change, things new, new attack strategies might develop, but right now, this is where it's at. This is what you want to be good at. You know, you want to be able to get in there, take out the enemy Archer Queen, take out one air defense, and then boom, spam all these troops, and odds are you'll get a three star if you do it correctly. So definitely try it out, guys. Hope you enjoyed these raids. I had a lot of fun. These were cool raids. So uh, I, I was actually able to just do easy two star raids because my clanmates did these epic raids. So if you like this video, if you like these raids, leave me a like and a comment. Oh, before we go, I think I'm gonna do some walls. So let's do that real quick. Don't want to. Uh, don't want to sit around with all this gold, so let's do two walls right here, and uh, and then we'll... Oh, we can do three, actually. Three walls! Yes! <laughs> Getting so close to max walls. Let's collect that loot, and then we'll get out of here. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you like these videos, leave me a like and a comment. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Alright, guys. I will see you next time. Peace!